Hey guys, what is up? It is Kurt, and welcome back to another video. Uh, before I start this, I just wanted to let you guys know that I didn't put this in any kind of order, I just kind of wrote it down. Um, there's just 20 of them, okay? <laughs> so, without further ado, enjoy the video. Thank you. Many different things have been removed from World of Warcraft, and in this video we'll count 20 things from removed professions to unobtainable legendaries. At number 20, we have Plains Running. Plains Running was the equivalent of a mount for the Tauren back in the alpha versions of WoW. They would have run on all fours, sort of like the Worgen do, uh, but Blizzard scrapped this idea and gave them the Kodo. Later in Cataclysm, uh, the Worgen were given this ability under the name of Running Wild. At number 19, we have mounts including the Whistle of the Ivory Raptor and the Bengal Tiger. These two, and many others, were removed from the game for unknown reasons. At number 18, we have the Survival Profession. So, back in the Alpha Versions, or planning phase, uh, Blizzard planned to have nighttime on Azeroth to be very, very dark. Uh, players would have to learn the Survival Profession to be able to create torches and campfires which would provide enough light to go around the world. Uh, they scrapped the torches, but they kept the campfires but put them under cooking. In Duskwood, the NPCs that are still there still carry torches to this day. At number 17, I put cities. So in the early versions of WoW, uh, cities such as Ironforge and Undercity were very different. Some examples of this was that they had multiple levels and floors. Um, other cities like Orgrimmar were far different than the cities throughout Vanilla until it was changed once more in Cataclysm. At number 16, we have melee hunters and melee priests. In the earlier versions of the game, hunters and priests both had melee talent trees, and hunters and the priests still have those talent trees to this day. So the survival tree and the discipline tree were both planned to be melee trees. Uh, in the new expansion though, uh, survival hunters are actually making a turn as a melee class. To go along with the discipline priests, uh, the inner fire ability improved the attack power for some time. At number 15, we have boats. Upon release, boats were very unstable. Blizzard disabled them altogether and added an NPC called P Captain Placeholder. Captain Placeholder is so popular with the community that an amazing songwriter, Cranius, made a lament about him. You can see the video right here. At number 14, we have Bucklers. In the beginning of World of Warcraft, rogues and hunters were able to use Bucklers. They were far different from a shield and only wearable by those two classes. Bucklers themselves are really unknown to what they would have done. Um, bucklers themselves still exist in game but are still classified as shields and those two classes cannot use them. At number 13, we have the islands in Stranglethorn. There were two very large islands off the coast of Stranglethorn, but removed. Um, sorry if I butcher these names, but the two islands' names were Gilligem's Isle and Island of Dr. Lapidus. At number 12, we have the Undead. In earlier versions of WoW, the Undead race were really undead. They were able to be targeted by paladin spells such as exorcism and different spells that are similar to that. At number 11 we have Warrior Charge. The Warrior Charge used to actually teleport you to your target rather than increasing your run speed towards the target. Why this actually happened, I don't know, but it's still kind of weird. At number 10 we have Rogues and Druids. Rogues and Druids both had the Feign Death ability until it was removed from them and given to the Hunter. The reason why they had it in the first place is unknown. At number 9 we have Hellfire Peninsula. Hellfire Peninsula was supposed to be a leveling zone for levels 54 through 60, but that idea was then scrapped and added in World of Warcraft's first expansion, Burning Crusade. Another weird thing is that, in the early versions of it, Hellfire Peninsula actually had water, as seen in the screenshot. At number 8, we have Player Housing. Player Housing was originally going to be an idea in World of Warcraft. It was briefly tested, but then scrapped completely. In Warlords of Draenor, they made an attempt at it again, but overall, the player base did not enjoy that. 
at all. And number seven, we have legendaries. The very first legendary that ever dropped was the Talisman of Binding Shard. It gave 13 strength, 5 agility, 8 stamina, and 24 nature and fire resistance. The item was originally dropped by the boss Baron Geddon in Molten Core, but it was then removed from the loot tables. The first player who actually obtained this legendary was able to keep it. For number 6, this is more of an adding thing rather than removing, but upon release there's no PvP content whatsoever. It mostly consisted of world PvP in zones such as Barrens and South Shore and Terran Mill. Uh, I guess you can say they kind of removed the aspect of world PvP. It was more fun back then, I'm sure. At number 5, we have Mages. Mages once had to spend 5 talent points in the Arcane Tree to make Arcane Explosion instant. Evocation was also a talent that they had to learn. This was removed and changed for unknown reasons to me. At number 4, we have Martin's Fury. In the Ulduar patch, a GM accidentally mailed a player Martin's Fury. Martin's Fury was a shirt that on use would one-shot everything around the player. The player was permabanned shortly after for using it to clear bosses in Old War, and after this, they were sure that Martin's Fury could not be mailed again. For number 3, in the alpha versions of World of Warcraft, all instance entrances had a dark portal near it. Uh, this was because Blizzard didn't finish the zones or models yet, and they had to use a placeholder. Uh, they were removed once they finished doing that. Uh, another weird thing is that there was one underneath the water in Ajara, which is kind of odd. For number two, we have Arenas. In the Burning Crusade with the new PvP content of Arenas, there was supposed to be an arena called the Gurabashi Catacombs. This was scrapped. At number one, finally, we have the Female Trolls. Thank god for this, because in the alpha versions of the game, Blizzard decided to make a female troll using the base concept and model of a male troll. They just put on new face, hair, and other customization and called it a day. Alright guys, I just want to thank you so much for watching my video. Um, if you could, please, please just leave a like and subscribe, it really helps me. Also, if you want to go check out my other channel that I'm starting with my friend, which is called Daily Bad Games, I would appreciate that as well. Thank you all for watching.